Hi everyone, welcome to Smart Home Charge. In this episode, we're taking a look at the Jaguar Go iPace app. If you don't know what it is, it's an app that records your journeys. That's basically it, except it gives you data based on those journeys and the miles you've driven and tells you what it would have been like were you in an iPace or any other electric vehicle really. So for example, it will tell you how many charges your car might have needed that week or that month and roughly what cost it would have been as well. So quite quite basic data, but nonetheless really, really important if you're thinking about buying an EV. And the really cool thing is you get to test driving an EV or test the lifestyle without actually buying one. You just simply put the app on, it automatically tracks your journeys and the rest is done for you. Um, so really, really helpful. I've been testing it for the past couple of months. So the following clips are just my views and opinions of how I found the app. Hope you enjoy. Hi guys, so it's day two and three of my test of the Jaguar Go iPace app. Uh, it's going well so far. Um, I had a bit of a hiccup on the first day. It didn't seem to be tracking, but uh, it did indeed update my journeys. So that's really good. Um, I've done about 70 miles so far. Uh, it says I still will have only needed to charge the car once, um, which kind of is expected really. Uh, it's got a decent range, the I-Pace. Um, and it will have cost me £5.17 so far. So I'm, I'm really chuffed with that. That's really useful information. I'm, I'm going to give it a few more days. Um, hopefully the data will be um, more accurate. Uh, and I do have one question about the assumptions it's making on, on prices. Uh, obviously that a lot of that depends on what tariff you've got. Uh, so I'm going to have a look around the app to see if it gives me any information on that. Hi guys, um, so I'm a few more days into it, well, actually a couple of weeks, and I'm finding the app really useful. just gives me a really good idea or indication of what uh, living with an EV would be like. I, I don't even think about having the app to be honest, and that's just what you want. You don't really want to be sort of filling around with it just before you start a journey or when you get home. It's just constantly on. So I've been really happy with that. Um, I've done around 56 miles this week and that still would have been one charge. So it would cost about £3.34. I think that's pretty good. I actually think it would be cheaper. It depends on the EV tariff you've got. Um, but hey that's better than petrol like i say i think you can get that cheaper if you choose the right tariff and you're charging at home uh at, at the cheaper rates but nonetheless i think if we fill our car up it do you about 450 miles but that costs us about 70 pounds to fill up something like that so this is drastically cheaper um and again like i say it's just an indication so I'll try it for the rest of this month and we'll see where we are. Look at this horrible weather. The uh, All the other episodes I've done, or recordings I've done on the iPace app, it's been glorious sunshine and, and now look. Ugh. Anyway, I've had the app for nearly, nearly two months now actually. Um, so there's a bit of a gap between the last time I did a recording and uh, what you're watching now uh, and I'm a lot more au fait with the iPace app now uh, I, I really like it I think it it is made me very confident and happy in having ordered an electric vehicle um, so just to give you an idea in September um, so 30 days in I've done 540 miles uh, the app's telling me I would have needed three charges, um, so I might be close to my fourth charge, and uh, that will have cost about £36 or, or £39, I can't quite remember off the top of my head, I'll, I'll put it on screen. Um, 
so yeah that's really really impressive actually um, I, I'll show a bit more on screen as well hopefully you can see um, just how how the app displays some of the data what it what it shows you it gives you some averages uh, shows you how efficient your driving is um, in terms of an electric car uh, you can also edit your miles per gallon so if your car is particularly efficient uh, be it petrol or diesel you can edit the miles per gallon in the app that just means that the app knows okay you've got quite an efficient diesel for example uh, it will give you a cost comparison so you'll still be able to see okay compared to your existing car that maybe does 55 miles per gallon what what is the cost per mile for example in that compared to a petrol and then compared to uh, an EV like the I-PACE one thing I did want to mention as well the I-PACE bases the energy or the the electricity supply on 16 pence per kilowatt hour I think that's quite expensive um, it still gives you a good idea so uh, I'm, I'm, my costs for, for, for driving the I-PACE if I had one is still much less than petrol um, for, for this car but um, you can get much better rates um, you know EV specific rates overnight rates that are cheaper so you can bring the cost down even more Overall, I would recommend using this app. I think it's fantastic. If, if you're just not quite sure whether to uh, get an EV, you're not quite sure if it's got enough range, um, how many times you're going to need to charge it, the costs, etc., etc., just download this app. Have a go. You won't need to do anything. It works all on its own. It tracks all on its own. Um, and then you can review the data for yourself and make up your own mind.